In this video, we are going to talk about how to convert square centimeters to square meters and vice versa. So first is we are going to talk about converting from square meters to square centimeters. But before that, let's review first the conversion from meter to centimeter. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Now, if you're going to square this two, then you will arrive at uh, one meter times one meter because that's a concept of squaring. You multiply it by itself. So one meter times one meter is one square meters. And the uh, 100 centimeters squared or 100 centimeters times another 100 centimeters, it will become 10,000 square centimeters. So that's the conversion between one square meters into square centimeters. It's 10,000. So in other words, as you observe between the conversion from square meter to square centimeters, so it's like this, uh, one square meter, and then you will uh, have an imaginary decimal point obviously for any whole number there is an imaginary decimal point at the right so basically you just need to move that decimal point four times so that you'll have that uh four zeros that is uh, the ten thousand square centimeters so the, the that's the basic idea of uh, converting square meters to square centimeters now you might think why not just simply put the concept that you need to add four zeros so that it becomes square centimeters and that sounds like easier when you just simply add four zeros i actually did, uh, didn't use that idea because it's not applicable for decimals it's only good for whole numbers just like this we have 2.86 and then let's say uh, uh, we're going to convert this into a uh, square centimeters so let's say we, we will just add some four zeros and then even if you put four zeros at the right side it will not change the value because we know that those zeros none uh, it's not in between non-zero will become not significant meaning those zeros will not change the value of the of the decimal number so that means that's not the idea or the, a good idea to make square meter to square centimeters by just simply adding zero but it's actually moving the decimal point to the right four times so we're going to move this decimal point one two three four and then we will fill in the uh, empty spaces with zeros and then this will be now the square centimeters uh, equivalent to 2.86 square meters. So it's actually 28,600 square centimeters. Now let's apply what we have learned on converting square meters to square centimeters with these examples. So we have four examples. So let us uh, solve first this 13 square meters and convert it into square centimeters. So this is equal to, so let's copy 13, and then this is a whole number, so we're going to put the decimal point, the imaginary decimal point, and move the decimal point four times to the right. So we have one, two, three, four, and then fill in the empty spaces with zeros. So... 13 square meters is equal to 130,000 than the unit square centimeters. Next, we have 5.5 square meters. So this is equal to, let's copy it first, and then we will move the decimal point. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then fill in the spaces with zeros. So we have 55,000 square centimeters so this is equivalent to 5.5 square meters next we have 40.09 square meters so let's convert this into square centimeters so let's copy 
uh, copy it first 40.09 so we're gonna move the decimal point four times one two three four and then we have uh, the zeros to be filled in in the empty spaces and then the unit square centimeters so 40.09 square meters is equal to 400,900 square centimeters then the fourth example so let's copy it first that's 0 0.0501 square meters is equal to so let's copy it and then move the decimal point four times to convert to square centimeters so uh, one two three four and then as you can see we have two zeros now at the left side so it's actually it becomes a whole number 501 and then the left side zeros are considered already non-significant so those numbers which are non-significant meaning they even if they are gone if you even if you remove them the it will not change or it will not affect the value of the number so we can just remove that and it's still 501 because those zeros again are non-significant already so then the unit is square centimeters so 0 0.0501 square meters is equivalent to 501 square centimeters So let's move on to conversion from square centimeters to square meters. Now we're going to start with the basic idea of between centimeter and meter. One centimeter is equivalent to one hundredth meter. Or you can write it this way, 0 0.01 meters or one hundredth, still one hundredth of a meter. Now, if we're going to square this to square the one centimeter, also the point zero one square, uh, I mean point zero one meter squared. So I prefer to use the decimal here. It will become like this: uh, one cm times one cm is one cm squared. Equals point zero one times itself is point zero 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 one meter squared because meter times meter is meter squared so this is the conversion from 1 cm squared it's equivalent to 0 0.0001 square meters or one uh, i mean ten thousandths of a square meter so the idea there of converting square centimeters to square meters is this so this is a whole number one and then we of course there's an imaginary decimal point at the right so we're going to put that and then move the decimal point to the left four times. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to fill in the, the empty spaces with zeros. Then we're going to change now the unit to square meters. So one square centimeter is equivalent to 0 0.0001 square meters. But to write the decimal Properly, we're going to put a zero at the left side of the decimal point. But it's actually the same. But I always prefer to put a zero at the left side of the decimal point after moving the decimal point. Now let's try with decimal numbers. So 13.25 square centimeters. Let's convert this to square meters. So we're going to uh, move the decimal point to the left four times. One, two three four and then fill in the empty spaces with zeros and then now the unit will change to square meters and then we, we're going to add zero at the left side to make it uh, properly written as a decimal so the equivalent uh, value of 13.25 square centimeters is 0 0.001325 square meters so we're going to try now what we have learned in converting square centimeters to square meters with these four examples. So we're going to start with this 700 square centimeters. Let's convert it to square meters. So this is equal to, let's copy it first. So it's a whole number 700 and then we're going to put a decimal point at the right because it's imaginary decimal point. And then we're going to move the decimal point to the left four times. 
So we will have one, two, three, four, and then fill in the empty space with zero. And then um, we can also put a zero at the left side to properly write the decimal point. This you can see there are zeros at the right, which are considered now a non-significant zeros because even if you remove that it's still the same value of 0 0.07 so meaning they are unnecessary to be there already so we can remove that and then put the unit square meters so so 700 square centimeters is equivalent to 0 0.07 square meters now the second one 1000 uh, 0.9 or 9 tenths square centimeters is equal to so let's copy it and move the decimal point to the left four times one two three four and then we are going to add a zero at the left so there's nothing to no empty space to fill in so we're going to just put the uh, the unit square meters so it's equivalent to 0 0.10009 square meters Next, we have 18,033.45 square centimeters. So let's convert this into square meters. So let's copy it and move the decimal point four times to the, to the left. So one, two, three, four. So uh, there's no empty space to fill in with zero. So just directly put the unit square meters. So it's equivalent to 1.803345 square meters. Next, we have 0 0.8801 square centimeters, and we are going to convert this into square meters. So you have to be careful with this kind of given because you might get tempted of moving the decimal point to the right because of the looks of the given. But you have to keep in mind that if you convert square centimeters to square meters, you have to move the decimal point to the left, no matter how small the number is. So let's move to the left. One, two, three, four, and then fill in the empty spaces with zeros. And then we're going to put uh, a zero at the left. So we're going to put now the unit square meters so this 0 0.8801 square centimeters is equivalent to 0 0.00008801 square meters so it's going to be very very small value thanks for watching and i hope you have learned from this video please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section